All right, what's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about the dreaded free-to-play games that you find on mobile stores that make me want to cut myself. So, just getting right into it. Um, what do I think of free-to-play games? Well, as you may have already gotten from, you know, context clues, I fucking despise them to a molecular level. I fucking detest these free-to-play games and I detest microtransactions and all of it. It's just a bunch of bullshit. And here's why. Um, <clears throat> so when I, when I, on the off chance that I do play games on mobile, I want to play like an actual full game. I don't want to play some fucking game to ass piece of shit that barely works. If I'm going to play a game on any platform, I'm going to be damn sure that it's an actual game and not just some fucking paywall. I want to be able to play a game. That's it. I don't want to pay for extra shit after I've already bought the game. I don't want to pay for shit even if the game is free. I just want to play a fully featured game. And just think about how awesome it would be if these developers would take all the money and resources they have towards making actual legitimate good games for mobile devices instead of making shit free to play games. Just imagine that. You would have really good titles on mobile that would actually appeal to those to, to gamers, to actual gamers, and they would make money up the fucking ass. And they would still attract the mobile crowd that actually, you know, the casuals, as we call them. They would still attract those people because it would be what's there for them to play. And it, they have, they'll have they have access to it. And that'll create even more profit for that company if they, if they would stop just doing the stupid free-to-play shit. Um, and if you've ever played a free-to-gay free to, free, free to game, okay, so it's free to be a homosexual... Uh, <laughs> if you've ever played a, a free-to-play game, um, you know what I'm talking about. They're like gimped pieces of shit, and they're just horrible. Half the time they don't even work, and you have to pay for breathing. Like, oh, if you want to breathe for 10 more seconds, you're going to have to pay us $700 trillion per 5 femtoseconds, because if you don't do that shit, motherfucker, you're going to die, and you're never playing this shit again. So that's basically free-to-play games in a nutshell, for those of you that don't know. Um, and, and like I said before, it, it, it's absolutely fucking insane. I mean, the amount of money these companies make making shitty ass games and these people blindly play them because they're casuals. They don't know any better, any better. And, and they just, they just make money up the ass. I mean, they're shitting money. They're using money for fucking toilet paper. So they're shitting it out and then they're using it for toilet paper and then they eat it and shit it again. And, and it's basic, you know, it's like, repeat the process all the, and it, in all this money, they could they could be putting it towards, you know, making actual legitimate games, maybe forming awesome studios and actually making games for, you know, legitimate awesome games for, you know, mobile devices, for instance. Uh, and, and here's a good example of a really awesome game for mobile, which I absolutely love. It's called Smash Hit. I believe it's on both iOS and Android. It is a fantastic game. The only time you pay for the game is when you want to initially buy it so that you can unlock, like, you know, being able to start from where you died and stuff. That right there is a game on mobile done right, because if you've ever played um, Smash Hit, and this is just my opinion, it's a fucking awesome game. I love that game. The music is awesome. Everything about that game is just awesome. It's a really good game to just relax and, you know, still get really pumped up about it. It's a fantastic game. Um, but yeah, if, if, if these studios would put more money into making games like that... And, you know, maybe, like, RPGs and stuff, and, you know, like, really, stuff that you could really get into, you know, not just, like, fucking shitty Candy Crush bullshit games. If they if they spent their money on that, if they spent their money and resources on that, because they definitely have the money to spend on programmers, that would definitely make a big difference in the mobile market, and it would, it would sort of appease actual gamers if you get what i mean by that it would it would make actual gamers happy and it would sort of say to other companies that are doing micro microtransactions on consoles now like hey they don't what if what if what if we did this this is most popular now so what if we go back to doing what we were because now that's popular again you know it'd be nice if we could you know do that and eliminate microtransactions completely i mean they are sort of a necessary evil in some ways i guess um for instance if because i play gta 5 if I want like a quick $500,000, I'll go buy a shark card. That's one instance of me actually participating in microtransactions because it's 
convenient, but when it hinders gameplay, when it's to the point where you can't play the game without the microtransactions, or you can't play it fluidly without the microtransactions, that's when it pisses me off. When, you know, when they shove it down your throat. Like, when there's pop-ups coming up all the fucking time, like, Hey, you should buy this, or I'll shove my foot so far up your fucking ass, your kids are gonna be puking shoelaces. So, you know, it's... I, I really, I really wish that, you know, these forced microtransactions would just fuck off and just go back down to hell from, from, from where they came. So, I, I, you know, it's... And microtransactions are starting to become more and more noticeable uh, on console and AAA games, it seems, or at least from what I've heard, because I'm not very much into, you know, big, huge AAA games as of late. I'm mostly going back and playing retro stuff lately, but... I mean, it's, they're becoming, and it, it, I know for a fact that they are becoming more and more, you know, prevalent in, in, in games these days, and that is definitely a problem, because if I'm going to be playing a game, all I want to do is play a full fucking featured game. I don't want to pay, you know, $30 every five minutes for, you know, parts of the game, and it's, it's fucking ridiculous. So, you know, I, it, it's... It's not something that's really even necessary either, because like I said before, if they put the effort into making actual full-featured games, and they make it, they make good games, and they use all those resources that they get from making shitty games, and they just go make good ones. One that'll combat the whole you know bullshit free-to-play games thing, and two, they'll actually make a shit ton of money, and they'll be even more profitable because they'll be selling more units for more money. So, or they might be selling slightly less units for more money, but they would still compensate. So, you know, that's just my little plurb on fucking free-to-play games and how I despise them and how, you know, we might be able to combat them in a way, you know, or if, if, if the off fucking chance that any, like, big shot's gonna see this, you know. If you are seeing this, fucking stop. You are plaguing the market, you are fucking it up for actual gamers, and you are pissing everyone off that's not playing these games, basically. So, you're ruining the gaming market right now, you fucking people. And you need to stop immediately. So, if that message ever gets across to any of those big people that run these fucking companies, which it won't, well, there you go. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening to this little rant.